Introducing PowerVI, VMware Automation Fueled by PowerShell. PowerVI includes over 50 pre-built scripts to automate your VMware environment. The PowerShell scripts are organized in folders for easy access, with separate scripts being available for ESX host and for virtual machines. Right-click on any host or virtual machine to see the list of available scripts that you can run. The script will only be run against the selected item. You can also select multiple host or virtual machines to run your scripts against. Where appropriate, the scripts provide nice visualization of the results. Power VI also lets you edit and test your script using PowerSC, the best PowerShell script editor available. Tight integration allows Power VI and PowerSC to share the active connection. Integrated help provides information about the currently selected commandlet. Debugging tools such as breakpoints make testing and troubleshooting your scripts very easy. Watch as we run this script from PowerSC. We stop on the first breakpoint and then single step through the code. We can also run to the next breakpoint. We can even interrogate the values of individual script variables during our debugging process. As I let this script run to completion, I see that it provides some nice visualization of my results. You're not limited to the scripts that come with Power VI. Power SE makes it very easy to author your own scripts. Power SE can insert the necessary headers that Power VI is looking for. You can edit these headers, for example, setting the name that will appear in Power VI's menu. Then it's simply a matter of writing your script. In this case, Power VI is going to give me a list of virtual machines. Power VI will pass this to me in a variable called multi. For debugging purposes, I'm going to set the variable multi to the list of virtual machines. I'll remove this before I publish it to Power VI. I run the script once just to see what results are available from the list of virtual machines. I'm going to output the results to Power VI's grid control. This makes it easy for me to select the desired columns for display. I can then set the sort order, in this case the version number, and then use Power SC to generate the PowerShell script for me. Now I'll add a grid view to visualize my results. I'll run the script one time to make sure everything works as expected. Now I can deploy it to Power VI as a virtual machine script. Whoops, almost forgot to comment out my debug code. Power VI will provide this connection information for me. Now I can refresh my Power VI menu, and my script will appear in the list. Let's select a few VMs and try this script out. And there's the results, exactly how we expected them. Now let's look at the PowerWF integration. 
I'm going to whip up a quick workflow that generates a snapshot report based on virtual machine snapshots. For debugging purposes, I'm going to make a connection to my ESX host and get a list of virtual machines. I'll visualize the results using a web browser. As with my PowerSC scripting earlier, I'm going to set the output of my virtual machine list into a PowerShell variable named multi. As you can see, PowerWF supports both traditional and drag and drop scripting. Let's run this real quick to see what the results look like. Not bad, but I think I'll use the features I showed you earlier in PowerSE to select columns and then generate the PowerShell script for me. Let's run one last test to make sure the results look just the way we want them. As with PowerSE, let's do a little pre-deployment prep work because PowerVI is going to handle the connection and the VM list for us. Now I'll deploy it as a virtual machine script. Once again, refresh PowerVI's menu and our PowerWF workflow will show up in our list of available scripts. There it is. Let's run it. Obviously, the combination of PowerVI, PowerWF, and PowerSE make automating your virtual infrastructure easier than ever.